Who would have ever believed, given the relationship that you had with Chief M.K. Aviola, that you would be the instrument God would use to honor this man and to bring reconciliation and healing to the country. You apologized to my family and it touched my heart. You know that I lost also my mother in this struggle. So that apology meant so much. Let me use the, this opportunity on behalf of Chief N.K. Abiola, because I know what he would have done. Let me use this opportunity to apologize to you, to apologize to your family for anything that he might have done to harm you and to harm your family. I want to round up because I'm sure I'm well past my three minutes. But let me also say at this juncture that Chief M.K. Abiola was so committed to her saying farewell to poverty in Nigeria. And today we have more people in poverty in Nigeria than we had in 1993. I read the statement that you made where you said that you prepare now to wage a battle to, for the defense of the people of Nigeria against those people who think of themselves as the landlords of Nigeria. Let me say to you that by recognizing June 12, you are waking so many heroes of Nigeria's struggle and heroines who have shown, because they stood firm on June 12, that money cannot buy them. If there's any march that we need to march, they will march. If there's any protest that we need to be present at, they will protest. You have called up your own new army for the defense of this country. And President Muhammad Aguari, this fight will not take you, God willing, as it has taken MQ, but let us fight and bring about the conclusion of MKO's struggle that the Nigerian people should be the ones in full control of this country. It is not for a few landlords, whoever they may be. It is for the 200 million people of Nigeria. I thank you, Mr. President.